All right, take one, gamers. Welcome back to fixing one of the worst optimized games of all time, so Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, I get like at least a comment a day now about how they got a problem or something. Um, let me, I guess, I guess let me hold up. I literally just like added an update to the description it was like i'm gonna see what i can do to maybe fix it um and that it's either a hardware or just or a software issue like the game or something you have installed um so yeah update so basically this might be patched um i found a fix already pretty soon after posting this but if i do um See, some people it still works and some people it doesn't. Um, for me, for instance, it broke. It totally broke and was no longer working for me. Um, it doesn't work. Uh, that caused latency issues for the borderlands too. Uh, yeah, some people it works and it stutters. Or it, you know, it's it's different for everybody. Um, so I have another way to do it, a, a, a different, um, another like DXVK solution here. So you're going to get yeah, DXVK async. Uh, people were also typing in the comments to get to get that. It's a bit better. It has, it's, it's less latency, I guess. Um, I've, I've used it only for Atelier Ariza on the Steam Deck, but I have not used it for anything else, but, um, Go ahead and, and download this. You're going to need this. And if you already have the XCK installed, all you need to delete is your D3D11 and your DXGI.ELL. Um, delete those and then put in the new ones, which you should get from downloading. You open the TAR, you open this, uh, X64, and then drag the DXGI, d 3 uh, d11.dll into your Assassin's Creed Odyssey directory, wherever the exe is at, which is here. Um, this is where it should be for you and your your Steam library, whichever one is on, and just um, overwrite the existing d3, d11, and dxgi. Um, so after you do that, it's different for everybody. But I did a lot of testing. I tried the the exe trick, which worked one time, and then continued to crash nonstop. Um, I tried turning off the Ubisoft overlay, which my overlay is off. If I recommend you turn it off um, because it can help performance and also might also be one of the reasons it's not crashing for me anymore. So you go to your Ubisoft Connect, you go to settings, and it should be um, right. Oh, I, I re enabled it. Never mind. So I have mine enabled now. Um, I don't know why, but I haven't enabled. Um, and you're going to have to make a sacrifice. So if you're, it's just for an, an NVIDIA specifically, because I got to work on it um, back on my NVIDIA RTX 3070 Ti gigabyte version. I got to work again by disabling the in-game overlay. So this is a sacrifice if you like using it. Like for instance, I like using it, but it's not a game changer. It's not a huge big deal. Like I'm not going to freak out. I don't cry. I'm not going to cry about it. It's, it's whatever. Usually I forget I even have it. So I disabled this and then now it works um when i launch the game it, it opens i'll go ahead and show that now so i'll click play it'll go through the whole pro oh, i i just clicked this oh, you don't have to you can launch it from the normal exe i'll launch it from both um it doesn't really it shouldn't matter we shouldn't have to do that i was just trying every which way to do this um now if you've already used um the dxvk if you're already if you've already used the DXVK um solution from my last one, um if you only delete the two DLLs, your shaders should still be compiled. Um also you once again you have to enable the um shader pre cache settings in Steam. And if you don't own the game on Steam, what you can do is add the EXE to Steam as a non Steam game. And it should still compile shaders because, for instance, if you use a Steam Deck and you add non-Steam games to the Steam Deck, it will it will it it, it it's the same thing. It works. Um, that's it's it's the same on desktop Steam. So as you see, um, for some people and for me, it would 
either get to that loading screen and crash or I would get here, click continue, and then it would crash, or I click continue and I'll be getting single digit frames and it won't load. As you see, I'm on Vulkan, so we're gonna click continue. And as you see, it's working, it's not lagging or anything, I don't have to recompile shaders, it's all functioning as it should. So I'm gonna boot in here, it shouldn't take too long, and I should start on some mountains where I just got kill done killing like all cats or whatever the fuck. and we're in and no longer crashes because um, mine was crashing as well which is why i was like well i gotta figure out a fix because then i was trying to settle with x11 and it was a pretty miserable experience i'm not gonna lie i don't miss it so yeah that should be just about it it works everything works i can open my menu abilities and it still does the whole weird 30 frames per second thing it's it's all here it's all working um, so yeah you don't need this don't do this once again i'm going to shut it real quick you literally it's, it's different now where it's located you go to steam settings and i think you go to jeez i hate how they moved all this shit um you go to downloads and then sh shader pre-caching and to make sure that these two settings are turned on um see a little bit of overview uh, download DXVK async 2.0, drop the DXGI and DX um, or D3D11 files into here, into where your uh, AC Odyssey EXE is. And if you do not own the game on Steam, own it through Ubi Ubisoft, or you pirated it, um, go to add game, add non Steam game, go to browse, find wherever the game is, and then choose the EXE. It should pop up in here, or automatically select itself. Because Steam Valve thankfully fixed that issue. I was, I was terrible. If you use the beta, um, Steam, um, the Ubisoft overlay, I have mine enabled. If you want, you can disable it. It might still work. Um, for AMD users, I have no idea. Uh, I don't have an AMD card anymore, so I don't know. Uh, AMD should be way more compatible with this as well because AMD, I mean, built around Vulkan basically which is why that works so well on Linux. Um, so yeah, that should fix the issue um, for most people. Because um, I, I bet right now if I re-enable the overlay, and re-enable it, there it is, it's open. And I go ahead and go to Sashikasa, click play. It will most likely crash. I'll go ahead and show it, and then I'll turn it off and open it again, just to, to show that it will most likely crash. Um, it sucks that it's the overlay that does it, and I could not find a way to turn off the overlay specifically for Odyssey, uh, which is a shame. Which means, but on, honestly, the overlay, it, 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 I mean, there's probably other games that causes problems in, so I'm not surprised. Hey, that took a while. Um, spam through these. Lag is chugging. Uh -huh. And also, one time when I was booting the game up. Uh oh, I hope it doesn't do it again. It froze at this part and didn't crash, but froze. And the game became a memory leak and was eating my RAM until my computer completely froze up. <laughs> Oh, it was really bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna continue. Is it just gonna work? Oh no! So it will run. It will render at abysmal frames. We're in all F4. Please don't fucking lock my computer up. Oh boy! Oh, I think it's about to do it again. Oh, it is. It's. <laughs> All right, we're back. My video totally froze. It's. I hope my video is not corrupted. It happened again, and it memory leaked. Um, I turn off the overlay. We're just gonna close it. Um, hopefully this video isn't corrupted. I think it's okay. The video says it's still going, but it totally froze. I'm gonna click play. 
and it should no longer memory leak or freeze or crash in any way. Jesus fucking Christ. That was... <laughs> that's, that's terrible, man. The fact the game can memory leak right like that. Granted, I am, you know, we're, we're messing with the API, so I, I guess it's... No, it's, it's not it's not the end of the world All right it should also chug less when you're going through these oh it is chugging now am i about to eat my words am i about to eat my shorts here about to find out about to say if i'm a fucking about to find out if i'm a fucking liar or not Right. Little F2 close a roo. Oh, fantastic. That shit is annoying. Click continue. As you see, I'm not running at 7 frames per second, which means the game is on memory leaking. We can see the RAM usage. We can check my. Um, OBS is not like that, though. OBS looks like it's freezing a lot. As you see, no memory leak. We're good. That's using the, the amount of memory it needs to use. And bada bing, bada boom. The game works. We're running in Vulcan. My ass frames. We're not getting any goofy ass stutters. I mean, I'm getting some stutters, but and it might need to recompile some of the shaders. Um, because when I did get in here, it was stuttering a little bit when I shot something, but when I shot something again, it then stuttered. So you might have to recompile some of the shaders, but not all of them. So should be set. Do what I did if you have an NVIDIA GPU. Um for AMD, it might still work if you switch to async. I don't really know. Um, I don't know if if you can turn off the adrenaline overlay, but I also don't think the adrenaline overlay would do that because I think the adrenaline overlay is a little less taxing than NVIDIA's because usually when you boot up a game and it says the NVIDIA overlay is on and all that, it usually causes the game to get frame dips and stutter and stuff. I don't really know if AMD's adrenaline is the same. So... Uh, Thanks for watching. Cool. I hope this um, fixes your game once again. If it doesn't, I apologize. I'm not a genius. I'm, uh, I'm probably as stupid as you think you are. If you think you are at all, if you think you're smart, then maybe I'm smart. Um, thank you for watching. Um, click like if you feel pain when you play this game. Uh, bye.